Hello and welcome to Persona 4 Golden. This is, if you do not know, an incredibly stylish turn-based slash relationship managing game, which is just a fantastic game all around. Not that I played it, but I have heard great things. And if you need any more convincing before you watch this, here is the opening movie. Right, are you convinced yet? Because that was amazing. We're going into a new game. We're starting right now. From this point onwards, I have seen nothing. I know nothing about what's going to happen, apart from the fact that we're going to get cool turn-based combat, going to get good music. It's just going to be fantastic. Yes, I'd love to connect to the internet. The Vox Populi feature allows you to see what decisions the other players have made at various points in the game. I love this. Games that have the other people have made this decision are completely my jam because I love to see what the general consensus is after I've made my choice so I can be like I didn't do that and why is everybody else doing this thing it, it, it's cool the rescue request feature allows you, other players to help you when you're in a pinch and allows you to help other players in turn ah, we're not gonna need that these features are not available at the beginning very beginning of the game they will be unlocked as the story progresses Cool. Ooh, game difficulty. Okay, so I've thought about this, and we're gonna be playing on hard. Apparently very hard, the main thing it does is it limits where you can save, and I would prefer to just play on hard, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, I have seen people saying though that normal, they've had to turn the difficulty down, so it's still gonna be challenging. You can change the difficulty from the system menu. Well, there you go. If it's too hard, push it up. If it's too easy, push it down. Wait, no, the other way around. But anyway, start on hard difficulty. Yes. Well, relax and have fun with the game. Well, thank you. That was what I intended to do. Characters, art, and storylines depicted in this game are purely the work of fiction. Any similarity to persons living or dead is co purely coincidental. Okay. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> I can't help but feel a little bit creeped out. My name is Igor. 
I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Uh huh. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? All right, then I will. Once it lets me. Enter your last name. Wait, do I have to enter my first name at some point? Uh, we're going to be Alpax. There we go. Might as well stay on brand. Alpax. Done? Wait. Oh, and then you have to enter in your first name. Uh... I don't know. Actually, I'd prefer if they call me Alpax for the first name. Uh, for the first name. So, last name. Last name, I'm gonna be called... I've never had to put in a last name. We're going to be... Zapla. And our first name is going to be Alpax. I know, I'm not very inventive, but that's what we're getting. Right. There we go. Right. Proceed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Had to click it twice. Weird. Hmm. I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Alrighty. Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? I suppose. The tower sets chaos? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Well, that's not good. The card indicating the future beyond that is... Pisces? The moon oh. in the upright position. I thought I saw a crab. <laughs> Wait, it would have to be fit. Whatever. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Okay, very vague. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Bye. Oh my, this is a uh, change of, like, everything. I'm trying to think of the right way of saying it, but like, moot? Tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think?
Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Everyone really likes Quiet him. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. He's gone a long way. Are these flashbacks he's getting? Okay, so weird flashbacks. Oh, are we actually in game? Hey, over here. You know, I thought we would be taller. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Weird thing to say. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. You're more handsome than you are in your photo, sounds like the kind of thing you'd say, like, you know, if, if you were go you just met somebody off Tinder or something. This does not seem to be that kind of situation. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. So, our uncle would be an easier way to say it? Um, how are we wanting to play this? You know what? Um, we're, we're going to play kind of a moody teenager. No, I'm not interested. Huh. Got a little motion sickness from the train, did you? Sure. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Well then, let's get going. Oh, but so just listen to the music for a second. Oh, the yep, yeah. this is good. Oh, yep, yeah. that 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 hits the spot. Yeah, let's get going. My car is over there. Oh, hello. Hey. You drop this. He doesn't look unfriendly looking. She, she just offered us something that we dropped. Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's the note you made for yourself with Dojima's address. What's wrong? You got into the car and headed for Dojima's house. So this is kind of a quiet little village, isn't it? As in, it's not a main city or anything. Inaba, central shopping district, gas station. Yeah, like if this is the main shopping district, this is definitely out of the way. Hi, welcome to Mall. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Yes, I'm, I think so. Uh-huh. Oh, you weren't speaking to us? All right.
It's in the back, to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. Okay, so... Just going through thoughts in my mind for where we're at right now. We have just left a school where everybody liked us, so no problems at school, right? School seems to be fantastic. We're in the big city, and we have now moved out into the middle of nowhere with our uncle and his daughter, and our uncle appears to be, I would assume, a single parent, right? So, that would imply to me something has happened to our parents, and it's something to do with the flashback we were getting, but that's just my thoughts. A city, huh? Or, we did something so horrific that our parents sent us away to kind of straighten us out. You know, like, uh, maybe that attack we saw was us attacking someone, and then we got sent here. But, I don't know. Does that seem like us? I don't know. We don't really know us. Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. You know, you're, you're really not doing a lot to help the situation. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Ah, I see. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Okay. See ya. Nanako is looking at you. What was that? Are you okay? Maybe we're ill? Or maybe we think that we're ill and we've been sent out, you know, to de-stress or something? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, you get sent somewhere that's a little bit calmer to just recuperate? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? Um, you know what? We're, we're doing the I don't care. I'm a, I'm, I'm a teenager. It, it, you're not my dad. It's nothing. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. What, control of my character? I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you should be so you should get to know where all the stores are. Examine the blue bl uh, butterfly to save your progress. Okay. I like the music. It's a new song. Now, is there any way of opening the... Ah, there we go. Uh, yes, so that's what I'm aiming to do. I just want to knock the voices down just a little, a little bit, because they're great, but they are very loud. Cool. Right. Uh, so I don't... Oh, the blue butterfly's over here next to the unfriendly looking girl. Hello. Hmm? Have we met before? Um, what were you doing at the station? The station? Oh, that one time. Nothing, I just went. I don't have anywhere to go. The girl falls silent. I think there's more to her than, you know, we'd think. Alright, let's save. Alright. Cool. Over this way? We got, um, actually, let's go back to the gas station have a look around here if I can. I cannot. What about if I go this way? Oh, hello. Damn, the next bus isn't going to come for a while. If you miss one bus, you're pretty screwed. If only I had a motorbike, I could go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. I wonder how much they cost. Maybe I'll be able to buy uh, myself one. I'm assuming that's a hint for us later. Dojima is waiting for you. You shouldn't wander off too far. Okay, can't go that way. 
bookshop. This is the bookstore. It is fairly empty inside. Sounds like a typical bookstore, to be honest. A fierce looking man is single mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. You decide not to enter. So that's a uh, Diadara Metalworks. Okay, hello. Hmm, you have something to do in this shopping district. It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only Junes hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Okay, so new shopping centres come into town, trying to make it, this place a little bit more, you know, vibrant. Uh, Marayuku uh, Tofu. It's the Marayuku Tofu shop. An old woman is tending the store. Cool. Hello. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. Okay, I will. A uh, convenience store? A variety of products line the shelves. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. That's a Shiryoku store. Hello. Hmm. I like this shop. It's very nice. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. Alright, he's a tourist. Uh, I had a check here. Wait, is it... There we are. Dojima is waiting for you. Okay, so don't go anywhere further than this. It's just basically allowing you to run around for a little bit. But you know what? It's pretty much what we were told this area was. So, that makes sense. The music is so good. How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? No. I just want to see whether I can speak to her. Uh, are you okay? Nakano, uh, or is that uh, Nanako, seems worried about you. Hello. Yeah, I'll get back in the car, I'm ready. Alright, let's hit the road then. During events, press the backlog button to see the log and the skip event button to skip the event entirely. Do you want to tell me what those are, or...? Okay, I'll look up the controls menu later. <laughs> Okay, nice looking house. He's got a little moped out the front. Yeah, this looks nice. You arrive at the Dojima uh, residence. But next year, this place will be your home. Why is it only for a year? Is it like I just see how things are going? Afternoon, evening. All right, let's have a toast. Actually, it looks like we're having sushi. Ha 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 ha! No, I just want to uh, have a look around here and see what we got. So, we we are eating some sort of sushi thing, I think. Or some, you know, something close enough to that. It's rice and some sort of meat. Um, what have we got in the back corner? We got a panda. We got, like, some coffee stuff. I'm seeing where there's any clues. Is that beer? I can see some beer. Yeah, there are some boxes that are unemptied. That, that kind of, like, yeah, there's a few boxes all around the place that are unemptied. Do they just move here, or is he just, like, the kind of person who leaves things in boxes and doesn't, you know, feel the need to unpack? Don't know. Uh, in the center, got some drinks. Okay, you know what? I don't think there's too much more to get from this, but interesting. It's, it's very sparse, right? It You see the way, like, it's just, you got the random mic wave on top of that bit in the top left. It looks like, um... Like, I, not to be too stereotypical, but it looks like a bachelor pad, right? You know, things are just kind of scattered all over the place. Anyway, let's keep going. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Ah, so that's why we're here. Nothing horrific has happened to us. Our parents are just working overseas and they don't want to leave us alone in the house. Fair enough. I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? 
It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. Nanako. I'm gonna try and get the names right, but it might take me a while. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Y you know what? Again, edgy teenager. I'm not happy being here. I'm not gonna speak to you. <laughs> What's this? Are you shy too? You're just like Nanako. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see. So, where is it? Uh huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Wonder what he does for a job. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. So this is a regular thing by the looks of it. Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right, so he keeps going out and then she's kind of tidying up behind him. Okay. All right. Well, I'm off. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. Can we, can we first of all take a look at the figurines on top of the TV? What is up with the bears and the fish? Is this a metaphor of some kind? I'm too stupid to understand. But also there's a smiley face on the uh, TV thing as well. On the TV stand, bottom right. Cool. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. You find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. Hint, hint. You know what? I'm interested. What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. Ah, detective. My dad's a detective. Apparently so am I. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary... Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. Okay, so this is the thing we heard about in the opening movie. His wife, Enka ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. I kind of hate it already. Every day's great at your Juness. Okay, scratch that. I definitely hate this, but also, I kind of like it. Every day is great at your Juness. Uh, that I like less. Aren't you going to eat? You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Okay, but this is prime time to look around and just judge. So what's this in the corner? Like, right there. Looks sort of things being charged. You got the bears. We saw that. I'm gonna talk to her. Uh... Um... Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. Okay. A quiz show is on TV. Oh, okay. Fine. Uh, anything else back here? Nope. Nope. I would love to just zoom in at some of this stuff. Oh, check. 
You open the fridge. There is some fried rice. Eat it? Yes. What a stupid question. It had no taste at all. Strange. Nothing catches your eye. Okay, um... Sure. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Yes, however, it's also, as you can see in the top right, the evening. So lunch is not really high on my priority list. Oh, right, so this is where we save. Sure. Good. Right, what have we got back here? Nothing. You got way upstairs. So the way to the entrance? You're tired from the long trip. You shouldn't be walking around outside. Okay, uh, let's head this way. And this is the room you're borrowing from Tojima. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's a little small, but it's not too bad. I mean, that doesn't look like a bed from this angle. It's a futon. Go to sleep. No. You're tired from the long trip. You should rest. Okay. You're tired from the long trip. You should rest. You know, I'm thinking it's starting to hint something at me. Oh, we can go back downstairs. Okay, but there's no point going back downstairs. Let's go back upstairs. Let's just get our cardio in a little bit. Up and down, up and down. Right. Uh, TV. You're tired from the long... T you know what? Alright, I'll rest. You, you got me, game. I'll rest. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Okay. This is the dream world? I'd assume, but I don't really know what that implies. Hmm, this is, the area is covered in a thick fog. Hmm, all you can do right now is proceed forward. Okay. I will proceed forward. Okay, I tried. Left, right. Okay, I'm going to proceed forward and do what I'm told. I get the feeling that not doing what I'm told is not acceptable right now. Oh, a little bit to the left. Okay. A little bit. Ooh. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. I wonder if they put in these little left and right bits just so that when you're running through the game, is like, I was just thinking when I was running straight, I was like, is this the right choice to be running? Because it looked like it was just the same thing over and over and wondering whether we need to do something different. And then one of these hit and I'm like, all right, I'm going the right way. Yeah. Wonder whether that's why they put those in there. It's kind of neat. See, if it was just like this, you'd be like, you know, it. I'm just doing something that's leading to nothing happening. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. All right then. You sense someone ahead. Will you continue? Yes. So, you are the one pursuing me. Hmm. Try all you like. Alright, so this is the combat. Let's attack. Sure. Hmm. It seems like you can see a little despite the fog. What if I use a persona ability? I see, indeed. That is very interesting information. Okay. What happens if I press rush? But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. 
bewildering fog. Okay. The surroundings are covered in fog. Let's guard? Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. I'm gonna guard again. Will we meet again at a place other than here? Hmm, I look forward to it. We were losing consciousness. Well, that was weird. That was very weird. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready! So that's Nanako. It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Did she Good make morning. it? I think she made breakfast. Okay. Yeah, her father isn't here. There isn't a place for him. Okay. So the father hasn't come back, so she's very self-sufficient. Also, we got a closer look at some of the other stuff around here. I don't know what that thing is on the fridge at the bottom left. It looks like it's like the warranty for the fridge has been magneted, magneted to the fridge. Yeah. Okay. What's that right underneath the microwave? That look. That's a CD player. Oh, right. Yes. It's been so long. Actually, wait. That might not be a CD player. Looking at it, there's no place for a CD. Is that a tape player? I think it might be. Huh. Okay. Quaint. Let's eat. Also, what a great breakfast. Did you do the cooking? Or do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Nanako seems somewhat re restless. You decide to head to school with Nanako. Okay then, we're heading to school. School Zone Samigawa Floodplain You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye! Okay. Well, we're off to school. School zone. Intersection in front of the school. Those are some cool looking headphones. That looked painful. You should leave him be. No, you should help him. Alright, well... <laughs> whatever. <laughs> You've arrived at the main gates of Yasogama, or Yosogami, a high school. What kind of student life awaits you here? I have no idea. Ah, uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Morooka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Really? That's the... I, I suppose it is a high school. I was going to say that's the first place his mind went to. A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Okay, someone else from the city? Do we know her? Huh? You look dead today. Wait, him? Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Him. What's with him? I assume that originally she was talking to the person in red. 
Who knows? All right, shut your traps. Th those are some teeth. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Yeah, well, we'll see what we can do about that. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Excuse me? And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. What is this guy's problem? Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. You calling me a loser? Your courage has increased. Our wisdom has decreased. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Oh, no. Now listen up! This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Oh, wow. This is like a view into the past. Not a very, you know, not a very distant past, but just enough of a past. Mr. Moriyoko. Moriyoko. Uh, goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? No, you're a girl, and that would be unacceptable. Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. Oh, no. That's... E okay, I was just expecting that to be the way it would go. So hurry up and sit down already. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? Probably. Oh, it's after school. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Uh, why? Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. The police? Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that... Are you serious? Uh, hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Oh, is she related? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? Oh, she owns the... Oh, her family owns an inn. Cool. 
I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. I wonder if there's, if there's something to do with what's happening with us. Aw, oh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer! Attention, all students! There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Okay. So what could have happened? Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satanaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Chie Satanaka. I'm just saying them out loud so that I have some, you know, memory of how I, to say it properly. Um, of course. Yeah, th these are our peers. We're not gonna be, uh, like, edgy and not uncaring. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. DVD. It's got a black theme. It's a matrix. And... I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Too much color in the front, not matrix. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! I know the voice actor from somewhere. Wait, wait, wait a second. I think I think I know who that is, but we'll we'll come back to it at a later point once I've looked it up. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Uh, are you all right? Oh, Yukiko-san, are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. Oh, alright then. See ya. I guess. Just screw that guy. You're Yuki, right? You wanna go hang out somewhere? Alright. Here, here's the thing. Like, why do you not have any pupils? Uh, that's, you know what? That's about all of my thing there. Beyond that, like, the fact... Yeah, you know what? That's all. That, that, we'll stick with one thing at a time. Why do you not have any pupils? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? That doesn't sound like a good thing to have. Uh, so are, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! What? What is this interaction? What, what did he want from me? Uh, the, hey, are you gonna come with me? 
No. Fine, I'm leaving. I'm mad at you for some reason. <laughs> what? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? I mean, it was pretty creepy, but yeah. You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go! Everyone's staring. All right, then. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Me too. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh... Okay. How, how would we answer this? You know what? A, a teenager answer? You're not gonna say it's hard to say. You're not gonna you're not gonna tell the truth. You're gonna go You're just gonna kinda shrug. Whoa! Are you blushing? <laughs> yep. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Okay. There's a there's a secret boyfriend? Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Uh-huh. Jeez, G.A. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? Oh no. Serious enough to shut down the school. Hanging from an antenna. Oh dear. I wanted to see it too. Might not be what I thought it was. Originally I was thinking, is it a dead body? Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Oh, no, it was it was a dead body. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Oh, hello. Hey, what are you doing here? Um We were curious. I clear out of here before you get in our way. 
That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. Weird. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. The two of them left. You decide to head away from the crime scene. Back home? Oh, uh, There's so many places. I would like to head to the Dojima... Wait, I want to head to the Central Shopping District. Sure, if I'm allowed to choose. Okay. Uh, yes, I would like to save. Perfect! Well, with that, that was a fantastic amount of stuff in the first episode. We started school, there's been a murder, we didn't do it, which is good. You know, initially with the flashbacks I was a little worried, and yeah, we've got a new family, and the music is still so good. Right. So, thank you for watching, as this is the first episode of the series, I'm going to run through the normal stuff you're going to hear everywhere else. Likes, subscribes, commenting, bells, all that sort of stuff. It's really good for the channel's growth, it's really good for the series' growth, and it lets me know that you enjoyed what you saw. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Persona 4 Golden.